Here's another very interesting organism that you may or may not have uh, seen before. So if you go, say, uh, for a walk in the forest, especially during the uh, colder uh, seasons, you occasionally encounter something a bit strange on rotten wood and, and, and on twigs and things like that. So very often you see something yellowish and, and slimy sitting around. So this is another organism that uh, we usually don't uh, really notice. It is uh, one form of a slime mold. So how do slime molds actually live? What do they do? Well, they are very important in destroying uh, rotting material. So they are very important, uh, if you like, in the food chain. But how do they live, actually? Well, uh, they have a rather complex life cycle. And let me quickly talk you through this life cycle. So let's start with a single spore. It's a, it's, it's a cell that has been produced by the slime mold. And this spore, if you like, then uh, grows and germinates. And it forms a sort of a, a cell, uh, almost like an amoeba. And this form is actually called the amoeba form. Now this amoeba is uh, a single cell that uh, wanders around, uh, it, it can move, and it uh, eats bacteria. So these little dots here indicate the bacteria. Uh, when the amoeba grows up, then it can divide into two amoeba, and uh, sooner or later, uh, depending if when the, when the food is uh, really good, you get lots and lots of amoeba, but they are all independent organisms. And, uh, as I said, they wander around and they eat whatever they find. However, when the food source runs out, these amoeba start to starve. So they're getting really hungry and that triggers a change in their behavior. Now, what these amoeba do, they were first, they were uh, solitaire organisms, but now they come all together from all sides, they aggregate. And it's a really fascinating thing to see how they come together. It's like somebody's calling them and say, hey, come on guys, we need to get here into the center. So they aggregate, they come together, these amoeba. And they form what is called a sort of uh, a loose aggregate. They are just sitting together and, uh, you know, uh, behaving like, a, almost a, like a multicellular organism. And this loose aggregate that you see here becomes tighter and tighter. The, it gets more and more condensed uh, and it goes into what is called a tight aggregate. And then it almost forms a sort of a finger-like structure. Uh, it keels over and that is a, uh, it looks like a slug almost. But these are thousands and thousands of amoeba. And what they do, it's, it's, it's really fascinating because from this slug or from this finger, they form a sort of a dumpling, if you like. And this dumpling has an outgrowth and it, it, it looks really funny it it becomes a sort of a club like shape that grows upwards and this is called the fruiting body in this fruiting body there's loads and loads of these amoeba uh, it has a stalk and it anchors itself to uh, a, a solid surface uh, and then on top of this uh, fruiting body you have this, uh, this 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 almost like a balloon and there are again there are amoeba in there but they undergo a sort of a reproductive phase and they then uh, develop so here is if you like the reproductive phase in these in this fruiting body and they produce in this fruiting body only a few amoeba it's not all of them that form this uh, fruiting body only a few of these amoeba form these spores only sort of if you like the the chosen few form the spores the rest 
of these amoeba that formed this incredible fruiting body, they will all die. But only these spores, they are allowed then to be released again and they can start a new cycle. So they grow into spores and they are dispersed by the wind here usually. So the wind blows over the, 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 the log and uh, disperses the spores and uh, these spores then germinate, form the amoeba, the amoeba ag aggregate uh, when they've eaten all the food and, and a new cycle starts again. Now are slime molds dangerous for humans? No, not really, unless uh, you um, you probably inhale these spores, lots of these spores, but usually you wouldn't get too close to a slime mold and usually you wouldn't even notice a slime molds. So I hope this makes sense and thank you for watching.